In cystic fibrosis, thick, sticky mucus presses down on cilia inside the lungs, preventing the cilia from beating and clearing the mucus. The cause of this problem is an abnormal CFTR protein created from genetic mutations inside the cell nucleus. Our goal is to replace and repair the abnormal DNA sequence to create a functional protein and restore normal mucus. One way to do this is to use gene editing technologies that cut out and replace defective parts of DNA, such as CRISPR-Cas9. The CRISPR-Cas9 repair system has three components. A guide RNA that seeks out and binds to a specific location in the DNA. The Cas9 nuclease enzyme, a type of molecular scissors that cuts the genetic sequence at the precise binding site. And a repair template containing the correct genetic sequence for the gene. Once these three components are introduced into the cell, the guide RNA binds to and activates the Cas9 nuclease. Now, the Cas9 nuclease, the molecular scissors, can search the cell's DNA for potential targets. At a potential target site, like the one shown here, Cas9 unwinds a section of DNA to see if the guide RNA sequence matches. If the DNA sequence matches the guide RNA, the Cas9 nuclease cuts the DNA to create a break in the strands. To replace the mutation with a normal sequence, a repair process is used that precisely edits the DNA. For this editing process to work, a short piece of DNA template that contains the desired normal gene sequence is introduced into the cell. The cell uses this fragment as a template and copies the new sequence as it repairs the broken DNA. Once the first strand has been repaired, the template falls away, and the other strand of DNA uses the repaired strand to fill in the remaining gap, leaving both strands with the corrected gene sequence. The cell then uses the corrected DNA strand to produce a functional CFTR protein that allows the proper flow of salt and fluids through the cell membrane. Mucus returns to normal within the lung, allowing the cilia to beat freely and clear the lungs of germs and irritants.